Hi, one of my friends wrote asking how to make the conversion for a mouse from PS2 to USB. I already made a video about how to make the conversion USB to PS2. So now let's do the opposite thing. I have two mouse here, the USB and the PS2 both mouse uh, are working but the USB has a broken plastic so I will take the cable from here and I will put it to the PS2 guy I will remove the gray cable that will take it away and I will put the black one now how to do it uh, there are different ways to do it one is try to find the pinout of the connector and once that you have the pin out of the connector, you can apply the information in your mouse. Uh, for me, it's not the best way to do it. Uh, sometimes we have five cables, four cables, different colors for each one. So what I do is what I call the fast and furious way to do it. Is to identify which one is the positive five volts the negative pin, the ground, and I will do the right polarization. It's important to do the right polarization because if we do it wrong, we can make a damage in the computer, my board, or in the device we are working with. The other two cables, they are the communication wires for data plus, data minus, and I don't care too much about it because what I'm going to do is once that I place the right cable to apply the voltage and the ground for it, I will use the other two as a test and error to find which one is it. So I will forget about uh, pinouts and conversions and this and the other complicated thing. It will be a standard rule for any kind of mouse that I will convert. It's very important, guys, don't forget. No all the PS2 mouse, they support the USB communi communication. Uh, only the new ones, they are compatible. The old ones, they are not. So let's try to do it. What we are looking for is to identify the 5 volts line. In this case, for the printing circuit board, we have some writings about it. But now we will ignore that because most of the time we don't have it. We cannot follow the cables, colors, or the writings because most of the time we are lacking of that information. So let's apply the fast and furious rule. What I am looking for is a capacitor in parallel to the 5 volts line. In this case, I have uh, bunch of uh, electrolytic capacitors and also I have a uh, disc ceramic capacitors next to it so let's see in the other side of the printed circuit board and if we pay attention here these two guys these two guys and these other two guys one resistor here and two resistors there back to the printed circuit board here I have one electrolytic capacitor, one ceramic disc. Here I have another electrolytic capacitor, another uh, ceramic disc, electrolytic capacitor, and the ceramic disc. Okay, for the rules, the easiest way, fast and furious. Look first for the negative. The negative cable, the negative wire, is always connected to the maximum mass in the printed circuit board. So the maximum conductive area will be the negative. Now, here, we identify the guy. is the orange cable. Which one is the positive? Okay, let's follow now the electrolytic capacitor. This is not in parallel with this other one. They share one lead but not the other this other guy is in parallel with this one because they share both leads one 
is connected to the mass, to the negative, but the other is not connected to, directly to the positive. It has a serial resistor. Right now, the stronger candidate is this electrolytic capacitor with this ceramic disc right there. It's in parallel to this point, so that means the white cable, the white wire, is the positive. I have my 5 volts here. I have here 5 volts, the negative, the ground, and the other two guys, they are the data plus and data minus. They are uh, connected in parallel with these two resistors to the ground and they go directly to the chip, the optical chip. This is the donor mouse, the one that I'm expecting to get the cable from. This is the receptor mouse. Once again, let's ignore the color of the cables because most of the time they are not like that. Here we, have, we got the same situation. A bunch of capacitors with uh, small electrolytic ones and the ceramic disc ones. So let's try to identify them in the fast and furious way. I will place the printed circuit board and I will invert the other picture so we can see how it looks like. Easy. Here this pin has the major conductive area in the mouse. So this is the negative, this is the ground. Easy to identify. Close to it, I have this electrolytic capacitor with us, this ceramic one. We can see it here. And if I come back here, this guy through this jumper, touch this uh, pin in the connector. So this is my positive. It goes directly to the electrolytic capacitor, it's in parallel to the positive. This pin, touch the ground, the other, through the jumper, the positive. This is five volts, the ground and the other two guys will be either way data plus, data minus, or for PS2, clock and data. Now, I got what I wanted. This was my goal, how to identify it in the fast and furious way, forgetting about the pinout and all that stuff. If the mouse is compatible to USB, I should just connect a black cable from the USB donor mouse and it should work. But before to do that, remember I told you guys not all the mouse they are compatible. They were compatible in the transition age when they were switching from PS2 to USB. Uh, most uh, factories they only changed the cable for either one. The way to know if it is compatible or not there are two ways. One, to place the cable, as I told you, positive here, and here, data plus, data minus, in the center, in the side, the negative. If it doesn't work, I will switch again the guys in the center by this test and error. And the other way, before doing the big mess, is do you see, guys, the optical chip here? Take the number go to Google and try to find out if this mouse is compatible or not. So what we have here, this code, we will apply it to Google and the code we have there, it will tell, it will give us the data sheet. In the data sheet for this gray mouse that I wanted to convert, it says serial interface. So this is not an USB mouse. I can try to connect the cable, but it will not work. In the case of the black mouse, 
this is the optical chip if I take the number from there and I search for it in Google I will find USB interface so this mouse is able to work either way but the other it doesn't I couldn't get my goal about to convert the mouse but anyhow the main goal was to teach you how to do it and how to identify it is part of that uh, teaching too so I think the goal is accomplished already and now the knowledge is with you you know how to do it remember try to identify the positive the negative connected right the other two cables by test and error and try to save some time searching for the code in the optical chip in Google to see if you are able to use that mouse for USB or PS2 interface. Thanks by watching.